Agriculture is one of the sectors performing well in India. Output has grown and food grains like wheat have yielded record harvests. Even so, a long-running problem is back in focus – inadequate food storage. As much as a third of all food produced in India is lost as waste every year, a very serious issue when a fifth of the country's population is undernourished and food prices have been climbing steeply. I've been taking a look. Vegetables and fruit rotting away. A common sight at this market in Mumbai. Shopkeepers like Mohammad Qureshi say a large portion of food produce is wasted regularly as food is passed down the supply chain from farmers to middlemen before reaching the end consumer. About a half of the stock we buy from the wholesale market is spoiled before it reaches the stall, particularly during the monsoon season when it is exposed to the rain. So if we buy produce worth 40,000 rupees, at times we are only able to sell 15 to 20,000 rupees worth of fruit. There is a significant shortage of warehouses like these, known locally as go-downs, usually leased by the government from private companies. That, coupled with a poor quality distribution system, results in the loss of as much as a third of India's agricultural produce every year. Our inability to distribute this grain is one of the biggest policy failures, not just of this government but of succeeding uh, governments down the years. And it's, it's almost genocidal in its negligence uh, because a country where so many people are dying of starvation and where almost half the children are malnourished, to have grains rotting in go-downs is, is, is completely bizarre. It's, it's just not acceptable. India is the second largest food producer in the world, but the country has seen prices rising rapidly. After bumper wheat production, a panel set up to deal with the problem of excess grain going to waste has actually suggested exporting the surplus at subsidized rates. A lack of storage space and an inefficient public distribution system means that a lot of India's produce will lie in the open and be wasted. But can modern warehouses and supply chain systems like these, being increasingly set up by private sector companies, provide a solution for India's long-term problem of food storage? This warehouse on the outskirts of Mumbai is owned by Future Group. It uses the latest technology to process 15,000 of these cartons every day. Speedy distribution ensures little wastage. At present, it only caters to retail outlets, but those from the industry say there is potential for a model like this to be used on a much larger scale if the government and private sector work together. When you work on this kind of an automation, the kind of involvement, the kind of detailing that is required is immense, which a government sector might find it difficult considering that it's a very specialized, focused activity. And that's where companies like us can work closely with the government and we can do, uh, there is a possibility of a public-private partnership where a lot of work in this sector can be done. Critics say there is a lack of political will to solve the problem. The government has argued that increasing foreign investment and ownership in retail is one way to improve food infrastructure, but political roadblocks have stalled their plans. Experts say serious investment is needed to stem the wastage that's pushing food prices up, causing many to go hungry, even though India produces enough to feed its people. It's time for a short break now.